Tell me if anything is missing in this moment, independent from your past and independent from what comes in the future. Because you can't do anything about your past, it's already done. And you don't know about what's going to happen in the future. So you're here. Anybody? Anybody has want to say something? Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I would say that is the. It's not missing anything right now, but uh, when you get hungry and uh, very ex ex exhausted and so on, then something is missing. Well, when you get hungry, then it's time to eat. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, um, yes, uh, except that um, you might not uh, get any always. So, yeah, because then hunger is happening in that moment. That's what's happening then. And so the entire attention goes into food. Now you need some food. And then once you get your food and you eat your food, or when you're eating in that moment, that's where your entire attention is, is on the food. When you're hungry, you get really hungry, right? Your attention goes on feeding yourself. You're not thinking about how you want to be 10 years from now. You're not thinking about what's God's master plan for you. In that moment, all you're thinking about, your entire mind, emotions, and the body is engaged with one thing. I want some food. Go ahead. I was I was thinking about uh, the, those situations when you cannot get any food. Then everything inside of you doesn't look okay. No. Yeah. Because then that's what's happening. Yeah. That's now you're going through starvation, and starvation becomes your reality of that moment. That's what is happening in that moment. Starvation becomes your reality. It's what is happening in that moment is your reality, whatever it is. What I'm pointing out to is that when I go back to the roots and I realize that we're all made of the same substance, and the same life force is running through all of us. And I examine it a bit more deeper. And then I'll see like this life force that has created this world, whatever it is. However you want to agree on the creation, whatever it is, that it exploded and it's created. And then I see like all these different faces. And one is lighter, one is darker, one is taller, shorter, one has, you know, more hair, less hair, or whatever is the story. It's a man, it's a woman, it's a child, da 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 da. And I see that it's the expression, the expression of the absolute. It's the expression of the oneness. Because it's very clear to me, I'm not outside of the oneness. It's not like it's, I am here, and this is existence, and I am outside of the existence. I am, and we're all a part of the existence. So somehow this existence that's been around ever since the ever since, who knows how long, you know, it's been eternal, is created all these different people. And yes, there's the genetics, your parents, da 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 I understand. But ultimately, 
boom, somehow, either it was an explosion or it's created or whatever it is, it doesn't matter, you know, who created it or what's the purpose of it at this point, that's not even what I'm pointing out to, but it's here. And each and every one of us is an expression of this being, of this existence. And each and everybody has a time. This expression, this flower has the beginning and it's got an end. And it's just gonna start it here and it's gonna end here. So, in this expression that's been created and it's being expressed and it's got its flavors, it's got its character, it's got its taste and smell and everything, fragrance, coming from the same source. It's a product of the same consciousness, the same creation. 